I couldn't believe my eyes. It made me ill. It, it looked like a dog that came out of a concentration camp. I had this manicurist who I really liked a lot. She started saying, I need you to find a home for this dog. She said her son doesn't feed it or give it water. Stupid me, I assumed she would do it. She just wanted to get rid of the dog. I told her to send me a picture of Smokey. I don't think this dog was fed. They just put him in the backyard and forgot about him. I knocked several times. He finally came to the door. The poor thing was standing at the back door. I just put the leash on him and said, you could have taken care of this animal, you jerk. The first thing I did when I got to my car is offer him some food. The poor thing didn't have the strength to eat the food. And I took him directly to Dr. Pasenak. He was speechless. He had stomach problems, you know, from starving. Smoky set. Now shake. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. So much gratitude and I really mean that. He's so part of our life. He's one of my kids. You're welcome. There's something special about Smokey. He wasn't mean, you know, he, even all that he went through. He was a, a nice loving animal. If the situation came up, I would do it again and again and again. Oh, yeah.